ちゃう。<笑><笑> oh, nice catch, Harlow. Hey there, my name's Ian Smith. This is my advertising and promotions marketing channel. This here's Harlow. He's going to be hanging out with us today. Um, today we're going to be talking about sales promotions. Sales promotions is when a company offers you, the consumer, or another distributor an incentive or a purpose to buy the product or their offering. Uh, there's several ways a company can do this. Um, one, they can do use coupons, they can use discounts, uh, sampling, money back guarantees, limited time offerings. Uh, sometimes you'll see a 2% return on net 30 payments. That means that if you pay within the first 30 days, you get 2% of your marketing back. Marketing professionals need to have a keen understanding of sales promotions, just like Harlow has a keen understanding of where this Frisbee is at all times. Um, we need to understand marketing and sales promotions so we can track our marketing budget and what our return is on our investment with our sales promotions. We should also determine which sales promotion is going to work best for our targeted audience, just like Frisbees work best for Harlow here. I care about sales promotions because it can help my company with many things. This can help my sales reps open doors by providing introductory increased margins uh, so retailers are more willing to try out a new product. Uh, I can help use sales promotions to provide better turnover rates um, so I can get rid of outdated product and bring in a new dated product. Uh, I could probably use a new freeze Frisbee here, speaking of which. Uh, millions of people. Black Friday has been a great way for the whole country to get great deals on whatever they're looking for. Actually, this year, we saw a 33% increase on mobile spending, over $1.93 billion spent since this Thursday and Friday and Saturday. It's not even Monday yet. Um, Cyber Monday is coming up. Total online spending so far has been increasingly over 5.7 billion dollars in online spending and that's not even including the discounts that they're getting so that's a lot of money going into these sales coming out of these sales is quite impressive uh, it's been also impressive seeing some changes with uh, Black Friday shoppers not necessarily going out and running over people in the stores but actually just getting on their phone and buying what they need some issues that happen. Harlow, what are some issues? That's an issue. There are a couple issues with sales promotions that one must be aware of. It can devalue the brand over time. If a customer is always getting discounts, why would they buy it if it wasn't discounted? Um, two, companies can also other companies can copy your sales promotion if it works well. And when the market's saturated, everybody's doing the same promotions, it's probably not going to work as well. My sales agency team cares about sales promotions because we use them all the time. We use them in the beginning of the season to provide early bird tune-ups to go out and hit the slopes with a fresh new wax. Uh, we also use them during Black Friday to help turn over some products so we can make sure that we had room for all the new gear coming in. Some of the great resources I checked out you should definitely look into was Adobe Newsroom and that provided analytics on sales from this Black Friday. I also watched this video here on Steve Jobs which is truly inspiring. Definitely take a look at that. If you don't have time to watch all seven minutes, watch the last minute of it. It's awesome. Tune in for more on marketing and fun adventures that I do by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.